you. And that is how we are going to start this video. Hi, hello everybody, and happy 4th of July. I mean, it's America's like 202nd birthday. Oh my god, if that is wrong, I'm going to get so much hate. But yeah, it's America's birthday today, and we're here to celebrate. Even if you're not American and you live in America, then, well... Should we celebrate? You see, last year for the 4th of July, I was very stupid. I was talking about the history of cursing and a lot of meat. Meat, 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 meat. I'm gonna be even more stupid, and I'm gonna do quizzes about America. I'm doing that on my phone because my laptop is being a prob very problematic right now just like my mouth i honestly don't know that much about america um when i moved here i literally remember going to school and i said i went up to one of my friends and i was like hey where are we and they were like oh we're in america and i was like yeah but what country are we in but we're still gonna do this quiz the quiz is how stereotypically american are you and i don't honestly know but can we just talk about that guy really quick that is gonna be me in like a few years you're gonna see this entire room painted in red white and blue <sighs> it's gonna be sad okay so it's it's a it's a kind of have you ever quiz um it says have you ever and then it says check all that apply so i'm gonna read off the ones that it says and i'm gonna check them off as i go along have you ever had bacon as part of multiple meals in a day now the only reason that's true is because i went to ihop and i didn't finish my bacon so I had it for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So yes. Drank to embarrassing levels of excess. I drink a lot of milk. Like I really do. I don't know why. Why do I drink milk? What does milk do for you? Oh my god. Drank out of red solo cups. Yes, don't judge me. Been to a keg party. I don't know what that is. Driven a truck or SUV. I mean, my dad has been teaching me how to drive the SUV. Does that count? Does that count? Have I driven? Oh my god, am I illegal? I'm 15. Wait. Owned a truck or SUV. I'm 15. Gotten into a bar fight. Never been to a bar. Said America. That was for a meme. Does that count? It counts. It probably counts. I just realized that all of these questions are kind of for adults. Have you ever gotten a speeding ticket? Have you ever voted? Have you ever fired a gun? I think we get the point. So we are gonna do the could you pass the American citizenship test? <sighs> there are actual fireworks going on right now. Wow, I love Americans. Question the first. What are the first three words of the Constitution? What? Wasn't it like, we the people? Something like that? That's, that's one of the, the, the... You can't see it. There we go. Camera fix. There you go. You see it now? It's like, we the people, the conventions. I think it's we the people. Was it we the people? It's not telling me. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Wasn't it Thomas Jefferson? No, Declaration of Independence. Wouldn't that be George Washington? It was, it was Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> How many U.S. Senators are there? What the hell? What does that have to do with anything? 50. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Two. Isn't it every two years? Because aren't we voting for another one? No, we're not. Are we? We're probably not. Yeah. How many voting members does the House of Representatives have? 435. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Are these actual questions for the, the citizenship? I'm... Oh. If both president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes the president? the secretary of state no that doesn't make sense because that's a state the chief of staff i'm guessing the chief of staff the chief of staff the chief of staff that sounds right no i didn't mean to click on an ad how many branches of government are there branches of government wait 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 wait. do they mean oh i think i know what they mean aren't there four who is in charge of the executive branch the vice president the president the vice president the, uh, uh, the president in what month do we vote for the president november oh my god i got one right how old do citizens have to be to vote for the president 18 who is the commander in chief of the military the secretary of defense what is the highest court the supreme court no the national court the supreme court how many justices are on the above court justices nine who is the current chief justice what the hell i should know this i'm in rotc 
the fact that the fireworks sound like gunshots are not helping my anxiety right now. What is the political party of the current president? And it's showing a picture of Obama. Wait, which one do I choose? Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. Are we talking about Obama or Trump? If we're talking about Obama, wasn't he a Democrat? He was a Democrat, right? Oh my god. Why did the colonists come to America? Oh my god. Uh... They came from Europe because Jesus happened. Um, it was it wasn't f it kind of was freedom. No, it kind of wasn't. Nah. Who lived in America before the Europeans? Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Oh my God! Why did that remind me of that? Who is the father of our country? Christopher Columbus. What was the U.S. war between the North and South? The Civil War. Yeah, because that makes sense. Which of these wars was fought by the U.S. in the 20th century? That's World War II. 20th century, yeah. Who did the U.S. fight in World War II? We f That sounded like a gunshot. It was Japan, Germany, and Italy. What ocean is on the west coast of the states? The Pacific Ocean. What ocean is on the east coast? The- Oh my god, I almost pressed Atlantic by accident. I mean, Indian by accident. <laughs> Which state borders Canada? All of them? Oh, wait, no. Well, New York kind of borders it. All of the above. Which state borders Mexico? Arizona. What is the name of the national anthem? Star Spangled Banner. Bonus, how do you feel about freedom? America! I got 19 out of 28 right. Wait, what did I get wrong? I pressed George Washington instead of Christopher Columbus when I said Christopher Columbus. Who is the father of our country? Christopher Columbus? At least I know it was right about who wrote the Declaration of Independence. Thomas Jefferson. There we go. I am now an American citizen. Boom! Are y'all hearing that? And it stopped. Next thing you know, one just comes flying through the window and it's just like, ugh. The U.S. history test every true American should be able to pass. Damn. Which river is Washington crossing? He crossed the... Didn't he cross the Potomac? Right? Potomac. Oh my god, Delaware. He crossed the Delaware River. Oh my god. Who's the third U.S. president? Okay, so it was George Washington, and then it was, was it John Adams, the second one? And I'm not looking at anything, because the answers are right there. I'm just showing you the answers. John Adams, so was it Thomas Jefferson? Oh my god! <laughs> when was America founded? 1776. Who said... Ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. That sounds like something Abraham Lincoln would say. Because he was so patriotic. Or George Washington. George Washington is so patriotic. I don't even know Eisenhower. John F. Kennedy? Would John F. Kennedy say that? I feel like John F. Kennedy would say that. Oh my god, John F. Kennedy said that! <laughs> Who did not sign the Declaration of Independence? George Washington. Wasn't he dead? Oh wait, no. Oh my god. John Hancock. I don't know who that is. It was George Washington. It was George Washington! Who was the last president to serve more than two terms? Didn't Theodore Roosevelt serve like three? Or was it Franklin Roosevelt? Oh my god. Theodore. It was Franklin! When did America put the first man on the moon? It was 1969. The same year the 747 was made. Yeah? Why? What'd you break? The Louisiana Purchase... The Louisiana Purchase was a deal made with which company? Mexico. What? What day will live? Uh, live. What day will forever live in infamy? JFK assassinated. I feel like that would be no Pearl Harbor. Oh my God, I'm so bad. What was the political scandal that rocked Richard M. Nix Nixon's presidency? It wasn't Watergate. The Vietnam War. I think it was the Vietnam War. Because they, everyone was like, nope, it was Watergate. Oh my god! Which was the bloodiest war in US history? I feel like the Vietnam. It has to be Vietnam. It was the Civil War. Oh wow, I honestly didn't know that. You know Lewis and Clark? What was Lewis's first name? 
I feel like I honestly do know this. It wasn't Enoch. Francis Lewis. Oh my god, Francis Lewis. Wait. No, it was Merriweather. Never mind, I thought it was the name of the Broadway. <laughs> Broadway, the boulevard. Francis Lewis Boulevard. Oh my god, that would have been so clever. Who wrote the lyrics for the Star Spangled Banner? Ooh. He was... He was in the middle of... I remember the story. He was in the middle of something and, like... Um, literally through like all the smoke and everything, you saw the flag still standing, and he wrote the poem, and it was found after a while because he was like kidnapped or like taken away or something like that. And I remember the story. It wasn't Betsy Ross because it wasn't a girl. Francis Scott Key. Does that sound familiar? John Paul Jones or John Philip Sosa? Sosa sounds familiar. No, it's Francis Scott Key. Damn. The network of anti-slavery activists and slave safe houses used by abolitionists like Harriet Tubman was called the Underground Railroad. See, I have that book. Who was the infamous trainer traitor of the Ref Revolutionary War? Not John Wilkes Booth. Um, Le Lafayette? No, they wouldn't have a city named after them. Aaron Burr or Benedict Arnold? I like Benedict. It was Benedict! No, wait. I shouldn't like them. Which was the last U.S. state to join the Union? Ooh. I feel like it was Hawaii. Because Hawaii is a little... Wait, wasn't Hawaii owned by Japan? Oh my god, I'm probably triggering so many Hawaiians. But I feel like it was Hawaii. Yay, it was Hawaii! On October 14th, 1964, this Baptist minister won the Nobel Peace Prize. <sighs> Baptist minister. 1964. That's Martin Luther King, Gandhi, Gandhi wasn't, Gandhi only recent, no that's Nelson Mandela, Malcolm X was only a kid, wasn't he, back then, Mother Teresa, actually, no, Martin Luther King, yeah, Martin Luther King, what is this line from? Our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived to the proposition that all men are created equal. Ooh. Not the Declaration of Independence. The Gettysburg Address? That was after a war, wasn't it? The Gettysburg Address? So I don't see why that... It was that wasn't that after the Civil War? Oh my god, wait. Yay! Oh my god, I know so much. I got a 50. <gasps> so we're just gonna put this down. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Honestly, I feel like it's a lot better than last year's thing. But yeah, honestly, that was a lot of fun. I learned a lot, honestly, about American history that I didn't know. So I'm proud of myself. There's a plane flying over. Hope you land safe. Anyway, guys, like the video, subscribe if you enjoyed. The button is right here to fly with me wherever I go. Um, uh, these right here are two things that you should probably check out. This was the last 4th of July video that, honestly, I don't even think you want to see. And this right here is a video that YouTube is suggesting to you. Uh, click either one of them, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Whenever that comes out, I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.